I'm Mike Bowers and I'm photographer at large for The Guardian Australia. I'm talking pictures this morning with Zoe Norton Lodge, who's a producer and writer for the ABC. A very warm welcome. Oh, it's a long time since we've had you on. I know, I know. Too long. It's been too long. I finally remembered what politics is, so I'm back. <laughs> well, you, you dialled in at the right time, let me tell you. There's a lot going on. Is there? Yeah. Oh. The Prime Minister was in Indonesia this week and he was taken for a bit of a ride by the President, Widodo, on a bamboo bicycle. A bamboozical. A bamboozical. I just wish it was a bamboozical built for two. I know, that would be better, wouldn't it? Yeah. If there was like two of them on a tandem. Yeah, I'm getting real Sound of Music vibes here. And they all, the traditional Bartik shirts, of course. Yeah, that's like, I mean, Husek should have taken the photo. The tallest person always takes the I selfie, know, though, right? I know, I know. As if two years of COVID wasn't enough for us, now Australians are, are facing um, pain in the hip pocket and this beautiful... Matt Golding cartoon, who's uh, who's got the uh, the tip of the iceberg here is the cost of living. SS cost of living is going to hit it. Oh, I know. This just makes me feel so terrible for every single lettuce that I've let go soggy oh, in no. my vegetable crisper. I was having that thought exactly the other day. Look at all the icebergs I've wasted. Yeah, who knew? I'll never waste another oh, one no. again if I, I ever know, see right. one again. Many of the cartoons have gone with the um, the fiscal tempest. Uh, Warren Brown, the cost of living, waves, interest rates, inflation. Um, it, it's the, the fisherman's prayer, isn't it? Oh God, the sea is so great and my boat's so small. Mm, that's a honeymoon. I'm actually, that's where I went on my honeymoon. What? A fiscal tempest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although my interest went down. <laughs> How long have we been at sea? About two minutes. Yeah. I did love this Mark Knight. The treasurer here, he's got break glass in case of emergency, pull the pin on the campaign promises, take aim at the previous government, uh, hose down expectations and point at the base, I think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it says it's what you do in an emergency, but I just thought that was standard practice once you're in government. This, I think, is a cartoon of the week, political degustation. I think there's a bit of a, waiter, there's a lie in my soup about this one, Zoe. Is there a problem? We could always nuke it for you. Yes. These look like heated up leftovers from the last government. Oh, I thought they were shit sandwiches. Yeah, they, well, that is definitely a shit sandwich. I like the, you know, when a new government comes in, you get to sort of see, or, you know, everything changes. I haven't really seen many little proud cartoons I know, before. I know. That's what he looks like in cartoon form. Yeah. A bit ghoulish. <laughs> Bless him. So we over in the United Kingdom, there were thrills but no spills as Boris Johnson faced a no confidence vote that he narrowly won. Yeah, you don't want to narrowly win a no confidence no, vote, do you? No, I think there's only one way that that's going to end. I did love this Johannes Leek. Break out the bubbly, folks. This calls for a celebration as, as the conga line of lame duck holes, I think you'd call it. The walk of shame. Yeah, or the walk of no shame. The walk of no shame. I mean, look, at least they were having a good time. So, you know, that's something. But isn't his defence was I didn't even realise it was a party? Yeah, I mean, well, as discussed, it's possible it was such a lame party that it was possible not to realise that we were celebrating. I mean, that is not a very good party, is the it? The party was sure. so bad, mm. we didn't realise we were partying. Is it just around alcohol? Like, how much alcohol can you serve at a meeting? Before and what, what's a party. that threshold of fruity lex yeah. lexia before you're like, that's yeah. no longer a meeting? Yeah. This is no longer business. It's certainly not pleasure, but it's not business. There's a thesis in this, I think. Is there? I think. You know, Dr. Zoe Norton Lodge. Oh, no, I think I'll leave that one for you, Dr. Bowers. <laughs> it's been a great pleasure unpicking the events this week, and uh, I'll let you do the honours. Oh, uh, back to you, David.